bothers me a little bit when rappers say that they're fans of certain people and their art shows no resemblance of that whatsoever. Back in the days, right, to be a fan, it took a certain effort, you know? You, you went out, you had to go buy the CD, okay? Maybe even opened up the lyric book and you listened uh, to the lyrics and then you did some research, you did some background checks on, on these artists. That's what being a fan was. The word is short for fanatic and there's nothing wrong with that. A lot, a lot of people say that they're a fan of something. Maybe they heard it, it's a catchy tune and they feel like they, uh, you know, they like it. That doesn't necessarily make you a fan. I'm a Bjork fan. That's my favorite artist. I own every album she ever made. I'm a Maynard fan. Okay, I'm a Tool fan. I know what these songs mean. I know the stories behind the songs. I did the research. And it means something. It means something to real fans that are actually dedicated to the art that the, that the artists made. There was an event called Bragan Rights. It uh, take place at a venue called Wetlands. And uh, I remember the line would be around the corner. It would be a big line. And I would show up to the event with the radio playing Bjork. You have to try to imagine this line of hip-hop heads and I would come with the radio playing what sound like a foreign little girl singing lullabies and blasting that shit and looking at these motherfuckers like yeah you don't know about this shit the fuck out of here I can only imagine what was going through their minds and I would also play Porter's Head too I wore that shit on my sleeve that's what a fucking fan does. You represent that shit because it represents you. That's one thing I always liked about the Rock Kids. The Rock Kids always represented. You know what I'm saying? Like you would see them with the with the shirt of the favorite band. Like they, it was their life that they were a fan of this certain. You know, because you, you you get into it and it and it changes your life. Bjork did the Medulla album. The the whole Medulla album was just sounds. There were no instruments. She took the Icelandic choir and combined that with Razel beatboxing. It was fucking amazing. And it blew my mind and it shattered those boundaries. I used to just go with the radio and, and, and I would walk back and forth from, to, to about 100th Street back to 69th Street. And I would do this like four or five times just listening to the fucking music. This was my night. And I was perfectly fine with it because it was a journey within itself. All of the things I would go through as I was listening to the songs. You know, I, I think it's dope to be a fan. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I think people use that word. You know what I mean? They take it very lightly. It means something to be a fan. Bozo. You know what I mean, they got tax, but I wanted to mean a motherfucking thing Big neck, big chest, big back, six pack With a bunch of tiny pimples on your shoulders to match Cause you're a hoser Go blow your real body When you bang your Barbie dog, you think my function property She got fake tits, fake lips, and a fake ass But she's a light